Yo, what's happening, maniacs? It's Raf from Central Mania coming to you today with the Banyana Banyana scandal explained. Now, there are so many things that are so wrong in this scenario, but we will focus on the two major points and major issues that Banyana Banyana have with the Football Association of South Africa, SAFA. The first one is the venue that they were given and the pitch for their warm-up friendly against Botswana in preparation for the World Cup this month. In fact, starting next week, I think it's next week, and oh i mean these facilities were shocking to say the least and also because the men's national team has about 10 stadiums that are world class that were built for the 2010 fifa world cup for banyana banyana to not be allowed to use even one of them is quite surprising and alarming to say the least as these are the african champions of the continent as they won the african cup of nations for women last year their male counterparts, Bafana Bafana, have last won a trophy 27 years ago in 1996. If you ask most South Africans, it's fair to say that Banyana Banyana is the better footballing team out of the two and have been doing our country very proud. So they definitely deserve much better and world-class facilities to shine and show their excellency. The second biggest issue that Banyana have is the contrast. FIFA has given each association that has qualified for the FIFA World Cup money for the players and each player is deserving of 30,000 US dollars which converts to around over 500,000 rand each for the Banyana Banyana players for qualifying for the FIFA World Cup and getting to the group stages. Banyana Banyana are alleging that that 500,000 rand is missing from their contract. This is one of the biggest scandals, I think, in South African football history. The ladies are off on their way to Australia and New Zealand as we speak to the FIFA World Cup where they will start their first match against Sweden. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think that this was a distraction? Do you think they deserve to be underpaid? Do you think they should be equally paid like Bafana? Or do you think they should be paid more than Bafana as they have been giving us the best results out of the two teams? In fact, being champions and going above and beyond with their excellent performances over the recent years. Let me know guys, get in the comments, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the content and let's keep conquering the days as they come. Keep doing your thing, let's keep grinding. One love guys, love you guys.